everybody, it's Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Welcome back for video number 7 in the Ravel Chevy Beretta Pro Street video series. This will be the final video of the series. In this video, we are going to install the glass, some final details onto the body, and then roll into a completed slideshow featuring 23 pictures of the completed kit. We'll start by installing the window glass with Bob Smith Industries Super Gold Plus, the odorless CA glue that does not fog glass, does an excellent job, and let's get started. The three-piece hood that was provided with this kit looks super cool. It's a two-piece scoop and then that gets glued to the hood, the main hood, as you can see me doing here. Once on the car, the look is fantastic. It really lends itself to that pro street stance. kit included some decals for the trunk and hood and body pins and they provided plenty of them and here you can see me applying them all around the car. The kit also included these very cool tire decals for the drag slicks on the rear wheels. The final thing that needs to be installed is the remove before flight tag that is installed on the parachute. What I did so that I could make it double sided is I scanned and copied the decal sheet and printed it out and now I'm going to remove the remove before flight flag with a razor blade knife. I'm going to crazy glue it to the back side of the decal, the original remove before flight decal, so that I have a double sided one. In between the two layers I'm going to sandwich a small piece of wire so that I can hook the flag to the rear parachute and make it look as realistic as possible.
And with the installation of the double-sided remove before flight tag to the parachute, that will complete this build and we will roll right into the slideshow. I really enjoy the pro street stance of the vehicle with the wide drag slicks that appear stuffed under the rear fenders and all of the extra space under the front fenders where the small little front dragster tires are. The kit was overall an absolute joy to build for a repop from 1988. This was a very nicely made kit. The parts all fit together very easily. I really like the way the glass installs from the outside. Uh, it makes it so much easier when you're doing your final assembly to have it be that way. The engine was a lot of fun to build with the two blower set up as you can see here. It's, uh, it's just a really great kit. I also really enjoyed building the roll cage and the chassis. The interior of this car just really looks the part with the shift linkage and the way the instruments are and, and the seats that are included in the kit. I was also very pleased with the way the side view mirrors mounted uh, with their pins so they actually stuck into holes and very, very positive mount for the side view mirrors. They won't fall off very easily. Thank you for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as much as I enjoyed building this great kit. I hope you'll come back and join me when I announce my new project soon.